What's up everybody, Scott Adam Gordon here with AndroidPit.com and today I'm going to bring you a really quick review of the Sharp Aquos Crystal. Now Sharp are no more for making TVs than they are making smartphones, but in my review I asked is this one of the best value devices on Android? And I think it is and I'm going to tell you why right now. Stick around. One of the main reasons people are going to be attracted to the Sharp Aquos Crystal is of course the design. Um, this is a near bezel-less display that Sharp has managed to achieve here. Um, many manufacturers out there are really trying to optimize the screen to body ratio and Sharp has overall I think been really successful. There, there are a couple of caveats, um, one being that the chin on the device is rather protruding and more noticeable than maybe on other devices. Um, but this is an unfortunate consequence of trying to make a display which for the most part it is really really nice to look at and really great. Um, if we have a look at the sides of the device, no buttons on the right hand side, you've just got the volume rocker on the left, um, 3mm headphone jack at the top and the power button on the right hand side. Overall it's really easy to handle. Um, the power button maybe isn't in the best possible place here for right handers at the top right, it's a little more awkward to get than if you were left handed, um, but Sharp has implemented a few gestures to try to make it um, starting or switching off the device a little bit easier and I'll talk about those in a second. Um, while the front of the display and the front of the screen looks really great, coming around to the back it doesn't quite marry up with the front design I don't feel like. Um, maybe if Sharp had managed to keep everything as thin as this side panel um, it might have worked out a little bit better but because it's just a little bit protruding and it has this um, matte white textured back panel I think I don't think it really it really works um, this on its own may be great and the front alone would have been fantastic too together it, I, I don't I don't love it but I think it's a I mean what it looks like from the back it is a small price to pay for I think this great front design here and this really is something that's that's pretty fresh as far as the Android platform concern, is concerned um, there's not many other manufacturers that are aiming for this kind of feel and, and it is really good especially for the price of the phone which I'll come to in a second. The display itself is a HD screen um, that's 1280 pixels by 720 uh, sharp are known mainly as a um, TV manufacturer and because of this uh, the screen really is great um, especially again at the price point. Uh, the colour clarity is really good, um, it's got a nice warm tone, maybe a little bit pink um, if you see it actually in person um, but overall it's a really good effort. The other great thing about the display is that when playing games or watching videos um, it really the, the bezel-less design really makes it look quite great um, especially when you get the other buttons off here it's really well optimized um, and it, it looks it looks fantastic and it, like I say there's not many other devices that have this same effect in terms of the actual display proportions. Now the Sharp Aquas Crystal is running Android KitKat um, 4.4.2 so this obviously is an, an older version of the Android OS um, there's no word yet as to when or if it will be upgraded to Lollipop I'm sure that will happen at some point in the future uh, however it's a um, stock Android with relatively little bloat where the boost um, mobile apps that have been included can be uninstalled and there have also been some pretty cool gestures uh, implemented into the device which I'm going to quickly show you now. Um, my favourite ones are um, concerning the display and the uh, screen on and off. So one of them uh, is the shake off which means that by shaking the screen sideways you turn the phone screen off. Uh, it's kind, this one's kind of hit or miss, um, let's see if I can try to get it to work this time. Okay so that works which I think you know that's, that's not a bad little feature. Um, but they also have a, their own kind of take on the uh, knock-on type effect that you saw on the likes of the LG G3. Um, instead of tapping the screen you'll just swipe it. Um, so I mean it's basically just the same gestures to unlock but that's rather nice too. We've also got stay on 
which means that the screen stays on while you're holding the device. Uh, this works rather nicely, except if you're holding the display really still, um, it, it, it probably won't recognize that it's being held and so it may switch off. Um, there's another great one, uh, especially for people who have um, a desk job, uh, which is turn off and placed on table. And I'll quickly see if this works now, but it is great. So at the moment, this screen set will turn off after 10 minutes. But if we tick this and then place it on the table, as soon as it goes down or within a few seconds, it should switch off by itself. So let's see if that works. There you go. So I think these are some really nice gestures that Sharp's included here. The, while some of them aren't great, like there's another um, one to take a screenshot where you swipe across the top. It's great if it does work, but that's kind of hit or miss. Largely, pretty cool features though. The Aquas Crystal comes with an 8 megapixel rear camera, and it's actually pretty good. Um, 8 megapixels is the same that can be found on the likes of the Nexus 5, um, a device which costs more than twice the price of the Aquas Crystal. You can see some of the images and the kind of quality that you will get in the full review online. Um, in most circumstances, it's pretty good, um, especially at the price point. The front-facing camera, on the other hand, isn't great. Uh, this is, I think, 1.2 megapixels. And because the uh, sensor is at the bottom of the device, it has this kind of pointing up at your chin kind of thing. Uh, it does tell you the first few times that you turn to the front-facing camera to actually move it uh, upside down so that the sensor is at the top of the screen rather than at the bottom, um, and which seems to me like a, a perfectly fair solution to, um, to, to uh, or the fair price to pay to have this kind of display. It, it could be worse. The battery life on the Aquas Crystal, also pretty good. Um, it doesn't have an incredible amount of power. Uh, the processor in here is a Snapdragon 400. I mean, this processor is being used on smartwatches now. Um, so it's not a hugely impressive processor. It's only got one and a half gigabytes of RAM, but this is more than enough to do your basic tasks, um, you know, browsing with multiple tabs, um, it, perfectly capable of coping with all that. Uh, the battery life will last you easily uh, 24 hours. You'll easily get a day's battery life out of it. Um, possibly too, depending on how much um, you know, video watching, how much you're online, um, how much messaging you do. Um, overall, it, it's pretty good. The Aquas Crystal, at the time of writing my review, was selling on Amazon for 129 US dollars. This is an incredible price for what this phone offers. Even without this design, I, I think that would be good value for what you get with this phone. Um, I think the fact that it has this great, really unique look just adds to that. Um, I gave it five stars in my review. I really stand by that. I really love what it has to offer. I can't wait to see what Sharp does next, and I hope we see more smartphones from them. Please check out the full review online. Um, I've got it in the description at the bottom of this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.